It will be nice. I think you will love it. But you will need to open your legs all the way. Come inside. It's cold out here. Hi. How are you? How are you doing? How was your drive? Good. Yeah, you can leave it open. It's fine. You can shut it if you want that front door. Why don't you have a seat right over there? Sure. So what, uh, what made you come on over here tonight? I was just a person right there. Yeah. And so you just happened to be going by and you saw this blonde woman out there. And she waved at you. Yes, she waved that at me. That explains everything, doesn't it? She waved at me. She just I'm, waved at I'm you. I'm thinking she owns the house. I would try yeah. to tell her, what is it? And just yeah. that she say, come in. Come, come in. in. And come so you in. just walk right in? No, not just walk. Just so why I ask her, you know, what, what's this door? Uh, what an amazing coincidence. You know, You're a lucky you know, guy. You're just, just driving along and this good-looking young girl waves you in. That's amazing. I know. What do you suppose the odds of any of that being even remotely true? That's how it is. Now, the problem with all that Tell is, me. is that I know that you were chatting online with a girl who said she was 13. She gave you directions to come over here. Did she say I was 13? She said she was oh, 13. Who, who was this? I, I don't know. I chat, you with tell me. Of, you I chat with a lot of people online. Is that you? These pictures there? It looks like me. Yeah. It looks like you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I showed him those naked pictures. Okay. How about that one? It looks like me too. Yeah, that one. Yep. That one. It looks, yeah. yeah that one. Okay. You ask her what she's doing. She said she's sleeping on her back. And you say sleep on your back and open them wide open. Open. What did you mean by that? What is it? I don't know. This is your chat with a girl who told you she was thirteen. When was that? This particular one was December third at ten thirty two and twenty nine seconds in the morning. I was in the office at this time. I don't chat in the morning. You don't chat in the morning? No. Oh. Well, here, right here, you say you're in your office. So that's consistent with what you just told me. You talk about licking her. She says, I don't really know much about licking and stuff. Then you say, you'd like to try? She says, might be interesting. I will never say it to someone like that. Never. It will be nice. I think you will love it. Never. Never, ever. You know, I'm an Egyptian, I'm Muslim, I don't do this stuff. We'll lick you all over. It's not me, just I need to get my... No, 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 and I was, before you do that, I need to tell you something. Tell me. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on men who try to meet underage kids online for sex. Thinking he's going to run, the police come down hard. Now! You don't grab Give me your Come on out, sir. Step out of the vehicle. I didn't do anything. Step out of the vehicle. At the police station, Abdallah seems a little uncooperative at first. Whoa, Black. Muhammad, Black. Muhammad, Black. listen okay. to me. Okay. Okay. We don't want you to make any sudden moves like that. Officers find a large amount of cash. There's 100, 200, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, Four, 1400. Inside the interrogation room, after he's read his rights, Abdallah doesn't want to speak to the police. I need my attorney. Okay. Detective Liz Williams of the Flagler Beach Police Department thinks Abdallah's excuses were creative. His self-assurance was impressive. Except for one thing. Remember those pictures of the naked man? The images that showed his genitalia, um, the head was cropped off. And that unique necklace he wore? It was obviously handcrafted, and that evening when he was at our station, he was wearing the same uh, piece of jewelry around his neck. What does that say to you? It was him. Even though he cropped the head off? Right. Two days later, Abdallah made bail. He's charged with three felony counts, attempting a lewd act upon a child, using a computer to send lewd images, and using a computer to attempt to seduce a minor. Those charges carry penalties of up to 15 years in prison. He later pleaded not guilty. And because he's an Egyptian citizen, his case has also been referred to Immigration and Customs Enforcement. If he's convicted, Abdallah could be deported after serving his sentence. 